Hey guys, welcome back. We have some uh, burglars in Belgium. Flash cards got robbed. Thank you very much to uh, Poker Regdal for bringing this to my attention. And again, guys, get as many eyes on this as possible, as humanly possible. See if anyone can identify these wiener babies. And uh, we're going to do our absolute best. Remember, criminals, are, they're pretty stupid. These guys are going to have to sell this stuff at some point in time. And then we trace it back to them. So even if they crack the stuff out, which is usually not what they do, because you know what? You can't crack a 10 because then it's not worth very much money. So if they do crack it out, a lot of this stuff has foil patterns that we can we can identify. So be on the lookout for this stuff. It could be sold anywhere. Uh, there's, a, there's a good chance that it's sold locally somewhere in that Belgium area. But it could be exported to other countries as well. If you see any of these cards, feel free to refer back to this video or the post on flashcards. I'll, I'll put a link to that maybe down below in the description. If you have any information, bring it to me. Bring it to the game store. Bring it to both of us. I would love to see if I can trace it back to these absolute wiener babes. Now, let's get through the details here. It's looking like there might be 200,000 European dollar renos on the line. Uh, I think that's the approximation uh, that we got from Hoka Regnal. But also, uh, there is a reward. I do not want the reward. If you help out with the information that leads to the finding of these dudes, that's yours. You can have the 10,000 European dollarinos. That's yours, not mine. Just just a heads up. I just want to like, we're, we, I want to find these guys. That's it. Now, let's read through. This is going to be translated. Again, we got Google Translate. So some of it might be a little sketchy. By sketchy, I mean a little broken, broken English. Here we have it. It's a composite of what happened on a 12 31 23 New Year's Eve. Very convenient time to be a burglar at 4 a.m. Words cannot describe how these guys are attacking us. It is literally an attack on Eve and on the work of an entire team called Flash Cards. Here are some images of how they went about it. It is always very hard to see this. We hope that our beautiful community in uh, quotation marks can can take us where we want. Uh, maybe there's a better, better, a different name for that. I just translated wrong. You guys know how much I like the word community, and that is to find the perpetrators and above all to complete our collection. As you can see, very exclusive items have been stolen. You can find these details on our Instagram or Facebook page. For those who see or recognize someone, please give us the golden tip. Then get us to the perpetrators or goods, and you will receive the reward of 10,000 European dollarinos. Please share this message en masse on every possible channel. We are looking for a needle in a haystack, but there are a lot of us. There, there are a lot of us, and uh, I wouldn't even say it's necessarily a needle in a haystack. No, you can't you can't take this much stuff, this this much very identifiable stuff, and expect to not get caught somehow. They always do. They always expect to not get caught, but there's a very good chance they get caught. It might not be today. It might not be tomorrow, but they they usually get caught. Now, uh, let's watch the video together here. Let's uh, we'll full screen it. I'll get my stupid face out of the way. Uh, my apologies for some of the wind noise, but we're going to include the volume of the sound just uh, just in case. It, maybe it's not important, but for for immersion's sake. So, 
as you can see there, they were uh, they were very prepared. I don't know if he knocks the camera out of the way. You can go back and watch that again if you need to. If anyone has any information on the clothing that they're wearing, I know I'll be sending this to uh, to Rage uh, to see if he can identify any of the the sneaky deekies, the sneakers that are going on there. Uh, some of that, and then also the fact that uh, they, their face is covered. But again, they they shoved it right up in the in the in the camera view, so maybe that helps uh, with some of that. It's um, there's definitely lots there, lots there to go off of. Not to mention the fact that we can keep an eye out for all of the cards that I will feature in the video here. We're gonna take a look at those, make sure that we get uh, we got highlights, we got information. It's always good. Make sure you have photos of your very identifiable items, just in case they get stolen, just in case there's any issues or swapperinos, anything like that. It's gonna have high definition photos. Uh, some of the uh, PSA stuff, the newer stuff, all has online photos of them. But it's good to also have your own. Uh, if there's anything anything of value, anything, even if it's binders, flip through the binders, have like some kind of video log so you know what you own, what you have as a game store, just in case. So here we have it. High-end items. Our high-end cupboard has been completely looted. Here's a list of the items that were included and also other items that have disappeared except for slabs that are at the bottom. Here are a few striking collector's items that are not just found everywhere. So uh, I guess before we uh, before we go through these, the, the vehicle that was shown there, it's blurred out because it's not the actual vehicle. It's just a vehicle that matches the one that was that was there. Uh, so it's for for reference sake that's it's not like they're they're hiding the the license plate of the of the of the crooks so keep that in mind um what else they they were super prepped i don't know if he like knocked a camera out of the way with a like crowbar or whatever he used a breaker bar to to get into the store itself they had big ass duffel bags they kind of knew what they were going for so I'm, I'm sure they were in the shop at some point before hopefully they've combed the footage the surveillance footage of the the shop itself to see if there was anyone previously in there maybe they got matching sneakers that would be pretty cool wouldn't it uh, stuff like that, or eyebrows. The guy had some some wicked eyebrows, so maybe we can match up the eyebrows. We can do an eyebrow analysis. Art set red logo jungle booster packs. Art set first edition Dutch, Dutch base booster packs. Sealed red logo jungle theme decks. Lily and Cosmog Japanese Pokemon Center collection box. Eevee Heroes Japanese booster box. No, now this is like this is important. The sealed stuff. Um, Ideally, if there's anything with logos on it, we have pictures of that. Uh, maybe I'll reach out to them to see if they have any of that. But uh, if they do, that's that's always a bonus because, if again, the the wrap that has logos on it, the logos are never going to be stretched in the exact same perfect way. They're never going to be in the same place. It just isn't going to happen. It's it basically basically it's like a snowflake. Charizard and Kabutops Sky Ridge Booster Box Topper, both PSA 10. Sky Ridge PSA 10 Booster Pack with Kabutops Artwork. Expedition Venusaur Box Topper, three times sealed World's 2022 deck. One sealed Pikachu EX deck coming from the deck. One World's 2022 Staff Playmat. So again, there's a lot of this stuff that is like pretty obscure. So if you see it coming up, uh, do, do send that information my way. If you see anything that's suspicious, even if it's not necessarily... Uh, a perpetrator, it, it doesn't hurt. Send it my way. Send me a DM on Discord, preferably. Uh, if it's super urgent, if it's super, super hot, hot topic, give me the old at in general chat. Just say, hey, I have information on what might be potentially stolen items from the uh, the Belgium flash cards incident. We got base set of booster packs. Art set 22. Holy crap. Jungle Booster Packs, 40 packs total. Art Set Rocket Booster Packs. Base Set Booster Pack Long Crimp. EX Legend Maker Booster Pack. Platinum Darkness Ablaze. EX Fire the Leaf Green. Spanish and English. Seal Pack with Snorlax, Scyther, and Machamp. Disney Lorcana um, Promo Sets 1 and 2. Original Tommy Plushie such as Charizard, Pikachu, Blastoise, High End Loose Cards. And a lot of Loose Cards. Trainers. Okay, so I think the biggest thing here is we're going to be on the lookout for the stuff that's on the screen here. The uh, the graded cards are going to be a, a pretty big giveaway. But again, anything, it, it could be cracked out. They could crack it out. They could do, they could take one extra step. That's not going to save them uh, if somebody can identify. Again, the foil patterns on here uh, are going to basically, they're not going to match. Again, 
it, there can be similar similar patterns. They they are a repeating pattern on the sheet on the foil sheet, but typically to find stuff where the the I guess you can go by the centering, but also the the hollow foil here, the dots that are here that identify what the card is that it's the same card. I've seen this quite a few times here. We got the Lugia Aquapolis again. It, there's not really much sense in them cracking it out, but you do have to be on the lookout. I don't know if PSA has been informed at this point in time uh, of what's going on in order to deactivate some certs, but I wouldn't be surprised if that happens as well, if it's marked as stolen. Uh, it's kind of what they should do. Uh, but at the same time, we got to be on the lookout for these. Uh, if you see a lot of these cards, like this swirl here by the, by the Gengar foot and the scratches that are on this thing, you're probably not seeing. I'm surprised I got an 8. Uh, maybe it's extra clean other than the scratches, but we have a swirl here. We got the dots. You get the point. Uh, connect the dots. Check for the dots. See if the dots are in the same place. See if the, I mean, the card is probably still graded, uh, but if it's not still graded, you can look for damage and match up the card with one that is potentially stolen. And just because somebody's selling one of these, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're the crook, that they're the perpetrator. It could be that they purchased it, but I would still like you to send it my way if you do see it, are we gonna a full art leaf? Okay, so like this this bad boy here. If you crank that out of the out of the case, you you are definitely diminishing the value with the tens. We got the Moonbrion again. This is the same technique that I or, or like method that I tell everyone like, hey, is it is it the TCG player scan when they say, hey, is this a fake? Is this a fake card? If you go look, you can match up. If it has the same dots, the same the same hollow pattern, the same hollow aspects in the same places as the TCG player copy, which most of them do because it's kind of the highest res scan that you can just find on the internet. It's uh, that's that's the that's the first check for fakes. We got a Charizard and a Mint 9. We got a Miriam. Stuff like the Miriam might be a little bit more difficult, um, but if you see it along with a bunch of the other stuff, uh, then uh, then that's probably the way to go. We got Umbreon. The non-hollow stuff as well. I mean, most of the most of the expensive stuff is the hollow stuff, but even here around the edges, you, you can see where the dots are the same. The old the old bubbles. We got a Sabrina's Alakazam, and I swirl here for indicating that it is the stolen copy. Leafion, and again, the swirl can be probably close to the same spot, but the other aspects. What we got here? Brock's ride on. We got a Wobbuffet. Don't want to hear it in the comments. I did not pull two Wobbuffets from the two VS packs that I opened last. That was not a thing. Blastoise 10. Uh, so like something like a Blastoise 10 here, like cracking that out is going to greatly diminish the value. So you got to assume that they're not going to do that. We got a Clefable. First edition at Jungale. Fossil. Sky Ridge. Reverse Crystal. Thank you very much, guys, for everyone that uh, that bears with these videos, that uh, that takes the time and effort to look through these, that takes the time and effort to do a little search, get a little bit of extra free time, do a little search, see if you can find any of these cards for sale anywhere, um, uh, whether it's in Belgium, whether it's on those local sites. If you're from that area, if you're in Belgium, if you're in around Belgium, maybe surrounding countries, get give it a look give it a little search uh, if you see it on ebay if you see it on like local classifieds or anything like that any combination of these items every little bit helps every pair of eyes that can take an extra few minutes to to give it a little search arena uh, and if you happen to come across this even in in the facebook groups all of that stuff um, much appreciated i'm sure they appreciate it as well but take care of each other out there hopefully we can we can take down some more of these perpetrators hopefully there's a follow-up video in the future that i can make where these guys are caught with their with their hands down their pants jacking each other off fuckers stop stealing stuff guys i know well most people that are watching this video are probably not robbing game stores but this is uh this this is disgusting small business employees especially and in in times where it is very difficult to be a business owner at the moment, I uh, shouldn't have to say that to anyone. Pokemon kind of in the in the downturn, but then also just expendable income is just not, the the market is not good. These stores have enough to worry about without your stupid ass going in there and stealing stuff. Take care. Bye. Join the Discord.